All right, Math Aid students, this Khan Academy is called Use Pythagorean Theorem to Find Right Triangle Side Lengths. However, before I start on the Pythagorean Theorem, I thought we should actually discuss what the Pythagorean Theorem is. So, I'm going to scroll down here, and here is our Pythagorean Theorem. Pythagorean Theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. When it refers to a triangle, it's talking about a squared being attached to the right triangle, b squared being attached to the right triangle, and c squared being opposite of the right triangle like that. So, this is our Pythagorean Theorem. Okay, what is th what are they talking about squared and all that kind of stuff? I, I, I really want to break this down so we understand. We all know that if you have a square box and it has side lengths of 5 and 5, and I asked you to find the area, you would probably tell me, well, 5 times 5 is 25, which would be correct. Okay, so let's talk about that for a second. If we know that 5 times 5 is 25, and we have two 5s together, another way of saying that is saying 5 squared equals 25. The squared means you multiply the 5 by itself two times as it is in this example right above. Okay, now, you also know, we need to break this down a little further. You know that, and I know this may seem elementary, the opposite of addition is subtraction. The opposite of multiplication is division. Which brings us up to the next thing. The opposite of squaring a number like this is to take the square root of a number. Okay, So, if I wanted to break this one down a little bit and use an example of this, if I wanted to know what is the square root of 25, I simply say, what is the square root of 25? And the square root of 25 is 5. And we use that. Let's say they gave us this length, the area was 25, and you had to find what is the side length of each side. Take square root of that, and you get it. So, an example here. If the area of this square is 36, okay, we simply take 36, take the square root of that, what times itself equals 36, we would know that it's 6, so we've got our square root is 6, which means the side lengths are 6 and 6, which equals 36. Now, we know the Pythagorean Theorem now is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We need to also be able to manipulate this. This is great when this side right here is opposite of this. But what happens when this side is not opposite of this, but it's one of the two sides? We need to manipulate this formula. You might remember that I can, how can I cancel out a positive a squared? Hopefully you're going to tell yourself, well, I could subtract a squared. And whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other side, right here. Okay. What I'm left with, these two right here will cancel each other. And I'm left with a b squared on this side. These are not like terms, so I can't combine them that way. So I just have c squared minus a squared. So another way of saying this, same thing, Pythagorean theorem is b squared equals your c squared minus your a squared side. So we have two different formulas we can use now. We have the regular Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which I use whenever I have my square root sign, or I'm sorry, my square, my right triangle sign right here, is opposite or exactly opposite of that. It's called the hypotenuse edge right here, but I don't think you care about that. Or I have the other formula, which I just created down below, which is b squared equals c squared minus a squared, which is when you have your variable next to the right angle right there. Okay, so let's apply both of these. Okay, so in this one, we have a squared, first example, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I'm going to square the 3, I'm going to square the 5. 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25. I add them together, that equals 34. I then have to take that square root of 34, and that is my answer, letter D. Okay, now what happens when the side is not opposite of this? Now we have to use the second formula, this one right here, b squared equals c squared minus a squared. So we take the 9 squared, the long side, we subtract the 8 squared to get x squared. 9 squared is 81, 8 squared is 64, 81 minus 64 is 17. We then take the square root of 17, and that is the letter B. Hopefully that's all there is to it. Hopefully it makes sense to you. Talk to you later.